Sri Lanka's LERP operatives are famous for taking down high-level enemy targets during the country's two-and-a-half-decade-long civil war. We managed to neutralize some of their very top leaders. Of course, it had a huge impact. A black op unit that sacrifices manpower for stealth. Long range patrols gather intelligence and carry out sabotage operation deep behind enemy lines, where discovery could mean death. This elite unit was born from a 25 year civil war. In 1975, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam launched a violent campaign against the Sri Lankan government, demanding independence in northern and eastern parts of the country. Post 9-11, the FBI classified the Tigers as one of the most dangerous terrorist groups in the world. <laughs> Conventional forces were unable to reach Tamil Tiger strongholds hidden in remote jungle terrain. We were going into jungles with uh, large forces, like 25, 30 people. Most of the time, we used to lose surprise. Smaller teams were needed skilled in unconventional jungle warfare. In 1996, 20 volunteers formed the first LERP team, a top secret unit trained to infiltrate enemy lines and survive in complete isolation. <laughs> Until the end of the war in 2009, the existence of this unit was kept under wraps and the identities of LERP members a secret. Today in peacetime, there are fewer than 200 LERP operatives, a small elite club. To gain access, recruits will have to go through six months of advanced training. But just to get there, they first have to survive three weeks of hell. Selection phase day one, Sri Lanka's Special Forces Training School, Maduru Oya National Park. 207 volunteers are undergoing their first PT test, a grueling series of cardio and strength exercises to stress the whole body. Don't up. Don't up. These men are already part of the Sri Lankan Special Forces. But qualifying to become a LERP will take a whole new level of mental and physical stamina. At 35, Recruit 8 is the oldest in the course. A team of instructors watch over their every move, looking to weed out the weakest. 26-year-old Recruit 52 is already struggling. He's failed the first PT test for gripping the rope with his legs. Recruit 52 will be forced to retest in another week. If he fails again, he's out of the course. The men are only at the beginning of the physical part of the selection phase. Next, they must carry 65 kilogram logs for four kilometers with an extra body weight hanging off. It's not just a physical stress on their shoulders and legs. These repetitive drills are designed to test their mental strength. Veteran LERPs know exactly what kind of soldier it takes to join the team. Some of these men's identities must remain hidden. 
we are looking for the physically fit, mentally robust, highly motivated, highly dedicated members. These are not ordinary uh, soldiers following the course. There are some extraordinary characters who wants to be the best of the best. Our training session was very strenuous. So you find that if they don't have endurance, if they are not, uh, they don't have determination, courage, they drop out. A highly secretive organization. They do not even have their own unit crest. Becoming an LRP member is a pride, honor in the special forces. Without insignia, without any benefit, without any motto, we don't go for publicity. We don't vote for credits. The next challenge no one is looking forward to. The recruits have 48 hours to march 50 kilometers. To slow them down, their packs are filled with 30 pounds of sand. To slow them down even more, they must navigate day and night through some of Sri Lanka's most inhospitable terrain. Of the 201 men left, over 10% will not make it. අපි ඒ කට්ටියට කාල වේලාවක් දීලා නැහැ මේක විශේෂයෙන්ම නිදිය ගන්න. නමුත් අපි යාලයෙන් බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්න ඇවිල්ලා මේක අධිෂ්ඨානශීලීව ඉවර කරන්න. එතකොට යාලට තියෙන සීමිත වේලාවෙන් තමන්ගේ අරමුණ කරා කොහොම හරි ළඟා වෙලා පාට මාලා ඉදිරියට යන්න කියන එක තමයි අපිට කියන්න දෙන්නේ. The 40 degree temperature will beat these soldiers down. But there's another hidden danger unique to these jungles that the recruits have to watch out for. මාදුරේ ප්‍රදේශයේ ඇත්තටම මේ අලි ගහනවා ඉන්නවා හේතුව තමයි දැන් ඇත්තටම අලියත් ඉන්නේ නිවිසෙන සිටිලා යා ඉන්නේ එයා ඉන්නකොට අපේ යන ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස් හරි කවුරු හරි මොකක් හරි සද්දයක් හරි මොකක් හරි දැම්මොත් ඒ සද්දෙට තමයි ඇලර්ට් කරනවා යා ඒ ඇලර්ට් වෙන කලබල විලිම තමයි මෙන්නේ අලිය කොහොමත් අපිට වඩා ෆාස්ට් නේ කොහොමත් අලිය කිට්ටු වෙනවා නේ ඒකට ඉතින් අර අපි දීලා තියෙන බ්ලැන්ක්ස් වලින් ෆයර් කරන්න තමයි තියෙන එකම එයාට තියෙන එකම අවස්ථාව එයාට දුවල බේරෙන්න බෑ කොහොමත් ඒ ලොකු ජංගල් එක if surprised Wild elephants can charge and kill a man. Alin, udete na talia na mache abi na tene di talia ka. Eh mo kela ding abi araksha tayo na hundre. Sa ina sa mga petta ka tala magipadi mga kamana karga niyan. It's only six hours into the march, but recruit eight is beginning to struggle. Oh, gula baad ko tiyan. Eita mo tulo usnat ti twadi. Adaw sa magigoda tuwala tiyan ka kulol. This is not his first time on the course. course Recruit 8 has 30 kilometers left to go. Despite his determination, his decision to rest may cost him. Another recruit has just run into some big trouble. 201 recruits are fighting to become part of Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol. They are nearing the end of a brutal 50-kilometer march. Excessive heat, rugged terrain, and 50-pound packs are slowing the recruits down. But one recruit has just faced an even bigger obstacle. Instructors have just been given the alert. A recruit has been attacked by an elephant. They need to evacuate him immediately. Recruit 
The medical team is checking for any broken bones or internal injuries. Recruit 129 has a small fracture in his arm. He's lucky. Elephant attacks can be deadly. He survived the attack, but not the corpse. Time is nearly up for the 50 kilometer march. Recruits are rushing to make it to the finish line. Despite Recruit 8's decision to rest during the march and an injured foot, the oldest candidate in the course has just managed to complete it on time. At the training grounds, recruits are gathering for a post-march inspection. <laughs> But it's not the most serious offense committed today. A recruit has been caught throwing away sand from his pack. It's an immediate dismissal from the course. Recruit numbers are dropping quickly. Twenty-seven other recruits have failed the march. The 174 who remain are exhausted and hungry. They think they're about to enjoy their first real meal in 48 hours. Some men smuggled out apples. The punishments are used to build teamwork. One mistake from one man means everyone suffers. In a combat situation, that rule is deadly serious. Lerps can penetrate hundreds of kilometers through difficult and hostile terrain. But when missions call for speed, Sri Lanka's special forces have faster ways of getting around. <laughs> The Combat Riders Squadron are part of Sri Lanka's Special Forces 1st Regiment, deployed on missions where speed and access are key. Bicycle Samaga, Pavichikan, Hama Aviakuma, 
From AK-47 assault rifles to rocket-propelled grenades. Back at the selection course, instructors are upping the pace. 174 survivors have to sprint five and a half kilometers through the reserve's rugged landscape. Their toughest hurdle will be racing up a 315-meter high rock face. They have just 36 minutes to complete the course. In this heat, dehydration can occur quickly and calf muscles start to cramp. Coming down slopes like this puts an extra strain on their knees. A simple wrong footing and the course could end right here. Once at the base of the cliff, it's a race to finish. All the recruits have reached the end. But recruit 199 is showing early stages of heat stroke. If he's not treated immediately, it could be life-threatening. He has lost fluids and his body temperature has risen. If they can't control his temperature and get fluids in him fast, he could go into shock and die. He isn't the only one suffering. Recruit 2 has a lower limb injury that's threatening his performance. <laughs> Recruit 2 is a veteran Special Forces soldier who was shot during the war. It's the end of week one. 33 men haven't made the grade. And for the 174 that remain, things are about to get even tougher. This course only wants the best. In a battle situation, these men could be faced with some deadly choices. 174 recruits are fighting to become a part of Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol. These special forces soldiers are pushed to their limits here because when things go wrong behind enemy lines, a wrong decision can cost everyone their lives. In July 2008, six LERP operatives were on a top secret mission, 55 kilometers deep in Tamil Tiger territory. Their objective, to ambush a high level enemy target. The team withdraw into the jungle, but they know they need to get back to headquarters fast. Being found this far behind enemy lines would be disastrous. Meter the Hayat Pahalat, Atharagi, Margi, Atharaturadi, 
Their point man gets hit in the leg. But when the team commander tries to reach him, he too is shot. Unable to carry the injured 55 kilometers back to their own lines, they had to come up with an escape plan fast. The second in command heads back through enemy territory to get help, while his team hides in the jungle. For four days they would wait, not knowing if they were going to be rescued. Without food or water and avoiding capture, the second in command survived on what fruits he found along the way. After two days, he reached headquarters. A rescue team was sent in two helicopters. This footage was captured by the Special Forces team. One lands at a secure site to evacuate the four wounded men. But they are not safe yet. On the way back, they come under enemy gunfire. The helicopters release flares as a countermeasure. They reach the Air Force Base and hospital. A total of 685 Special Forces personnel were killed during the Civil War. Lerp Recruit 2 knows the horror of war too well. When LERP operatives penetrate deep behind enemy lines to gather intelligence or ambush a target, it can take days or weeks. The recruits are in the middle of a stalking exercise. They need to crawl 450 meters to an enemy camp and eliminate a hostile target unseen. To do that, they have to cross three defense lines secured with barbed wire. They have four hours to complete the exercise. <laughs> Recruit 52 is leading his team through the long grass. He's injured his arm and it's swollen. Shari, you go to the Daragan Pulwa, Namud, Shari, Mokari Kotasak, 
প্রাণীগুলো দেখে আনে দুয়াল এদের তারা গান আমারও এখানে মানুষের গুড়া পায়ে করানো এদের হ্যাঁ দিচ্ছি এতে গিয়ে গোমারি পাটমালা করানো করানো গেলে This exercise is testing whether leaders will take the most efficient way possible without rushing to the finish line. අපි දැන් මේකෙදි විශේෂයෙන්ම බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ සතුරාගේ නිරීක්ෂණයෙන් මිදෙන්න. ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් සතුරු කඳුරක් ආසන්නයේදී තමයි ස්ටොකින් එකක් අපි කරන්නේ. එක්සර්සයිස් එකේ කරන්න පුළුවන් වැරදි තමයි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට එයාලට කියලා දීලා තියෙන මූමන්ට් වලින් බැහැරව. ඒ කියන්නේ මහන්සි වෙනකොට සමහරක් තැන් වල තියෙන බඩ ගාගෙන යන්න. එතකොට ඒ තැන් වලදී මේකට නැකිටල යනවා. Sri Lanka's long range patrol have mastered the art of invisibility. Originally developed by Scottish gamekeepers, the best ghillie suits are handmade. Meter විශිපාට විතර තරම් අවසාන Three hours into the stalking exercise, Recruit 52's team has made it to within 150 meters of their target. His front men have been spotted. වල යා දෙන්න එලියට යනකොට මොන හරි ඉන්සිඩන්ට් එකක් වුණා නම් දැන් ගන්න දෙන්නෙක් නැහැ. ලයින් එක ෆයිනලට ගන්න කවුරුත් නැහැ. ඇයි තීරණය කරවා ඉදින විතරක් යවන්න. තේරෙනවද? රයිට් දැන් නැවත ටීම් එක අරගෙන නැවත මෙතන ඉඳලා මූ වෙන්න ඕන. පැහැදිලි? පැහැදිලි? පැහැදිලි ටීම් එකට. ආ රයිට් ටීම් එකම මූ වෙන්න ඕන. ටීම් එක මූ වෙලා අපි කලින් ආපු ඒ කියන්නේ කාලගුණ තත්ත්වේ වගේ නේ දැන් රස්නේ වැඩි. ඊට පස්සේ මාංශය වැඩි ටීම් එකටම ෆිනිෂ් <laughs> ලයින් <laughs> But the clock is ticking for Recruit 52's team. They reach the end with one minute to spare. The team is the team. 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 But there is only a moment of respite. Recruits have no idea what they're about to be hit with next. Recruits fighting to become a part of Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol are in week two of one of the toughest selection courses in the world. The 174 recruits who remain are about to go through a battle casualty test. In teams, they must carry the stretcher through four kilometers of dense jungle in just 40 minutes. It's a team building exercise with real life implications. We may make a test car, not condemn the condemn hanging. It's a matter of a Nike, it was Nike, you know, I'm this summer, I'm my Israeli team maker. Recruit 5 is in charge of his team. Recruit 5 and his team have come in on 36 minutes. 
ඇත්තටම ඔපරේෂන් එකේ දෙනා ටීම් වර්ක් එක තමයි ටීම් වර්ක් එකේ තියෙන තරම් තමයි ඔපරේෂන් එක සාර්ථකත්වයේ තියෙන්නේ තනිම කවදවත් යුද්ධයක් කරන්න බෑ ටීම් එකේ තියෙන එකමුතු බා ගන්නව තමයි යුද්ධයේ පරිදිනවද දිනනවද කියන එක තීරණය වෙන්නේ There is only a moment of respite for the recruits after the stretcher run They've just had a lesson in teamwork but now they have to fight each other They want men who really want to join this unit and will do anything to get there. This will take their last ounce of energy before their final PT test. The 174 recruits that remain now face a succession of cardio, strength, and endurance tests that will push them to the limit. They have to pass them or they are out of the selection course. Recruit 52 has failed two of the three attempts at the PT test. Today is his last chance to pass. With an injury on his hand. The rope climb will be his toughest challenge. He has to make it to the halfway mark to pass, but he cannot use his legs to pull himself up. Recruit 52 has climbed just high enough to pass the test. Koma taniware mo gohamare nagino gele hitagena tai hiti aniware komare nagga. Atthana satutu mokada athe abadi tiyagena komare pee test e pass wuno. E hema deyata moral eka thamai wedagatta. The 164 recruits that remain have been put through extreme physical stress. but now their mental strength will be tested instructors are about to assess their analytical skills recruits have 1 minute to observe various objects in a room and determine the kind of person that lives there meya visleshane kirime hakiyawak tiyena honda buddhiyak tiyena kenek thamai lrp ekata sudusu kan me thora ganime adiyeredi honda sudusu pudgalek washen අපි මෙතෙන්දී මේ තෝරා ගන්න. ඒතරම ගත්තට පස්සේ අපි ක්‍රියාණිත කරනකොට කුඩා කණ්ඩායම වශයෙන් තමයි ක්‍රියාණිත කරන්නේ. එතකොට කුඩා කණ්ඩායමක් වශයෙන් ක්‍රියාණිත කරනකොට මේ කට්ටියට තීරණ ගැනීම සහ බුද්ධි මට්ටම කියන දේ ඊටම ඉහළ මට්ටමක තියෙන. How they perform now will weigh heavily on whether they get selected. ධනවාදයට එරෙහි කටයුතු වලට ඒ පිරිස් හසුරව හසුරවන්න යම් කිසි ප්ලෑන් එකක් සිද්ධ ඉෂ්ට කරලා තියෙන සිදු කරමින් පවතින බවට මට සාක්ෂි හම්බ වුණා විශේෂයෙන් ලැබිච්ච ඒ ලැබිලා තිබ්බ පෝස්ටර් අරහේ මේ අනුව මොහු හතරයි කිව්වේ ඒ හතරෙන් ඒ හතර කියලා තියෙන නුවා ගොඩක් දේවල් කිව්වා Recruit 2's disappointing report will affect his overall assessment at the end of the selection course. Palavindi levicha kale poddak simithai podi podi ten walata hita yomu karanna beri una. E nisa karunu adu washen thamai kiya ganna puluwan une. Mata computer se athiyana mata man chenikawa eke thiyena deval nirikshane karala eke mokadda kiya balla mata eka avilla eliyata illa mata kiyanna thiyena. ियाकारो <laughs> 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 
The recruits seem to have underestimated the difficulty of the exercise, and it may have cost them. Kali manage kerana tiada ini, yang lata perasnya ke dunia terpasi, ikan ganah ikan mau dia ganah hita 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 inno, tahu dewal ya ulu utang ganih na. Itu hasil monohar dia kuyano misa kerana tiada dewal peralala kalla balla monohar dia ganih na. Yang lagi manusia, ya villa kerana samaj jawadi pudgalik, kamu retro hatra dene kini la dino. पोस्टर भी दाहर लती है ना इतना से मद्राव भी पाने कर लती है ना यहाँ उनका बुद्धि मत एक ना यहाँ बुद्धि मत फोट के होने के निक समाजवादी अधास सोलिंग उबड़ गया फुट गले ये ठीक है तो मैं बोला फिर For nearly three weeks, recruits have had an average of two hours of sleep a day, but even tonight, the instructors show no mercy. Recruits are told to carry their bunk beds to the training grounds. If the instructors are unhappy with the results, the recruits are punished. It seems like a futile exercise, but it's all part of a plan to completely exhaust the recruits before the biggest test of the selection course. Mereka ni warem, bishakur mereka pass pun non ani warem. Ilar pun soldat dek ni. Tapi kalau mereka tege, manusia itu macam high class, sielu mau dewal pida, orang pahat mau pahat tu mereka dah liver lah. Tapi apa ni? Kilometer sih mati ke dah. Some, like recruit 52, are in agony. Recruits fighting for a spot on Sri Lanka's elite long range patrol are in week three of the toughest selection course of their lives. Day 17 of 21. Recruits are about to start the toughest challenge of the selection course, a 100-kilometer navigation march that they have to complete in 72 hours. Mereka tamai, amaru macam ni kan? Mereka dengan gudak, mereka tu gudak week pula ini, manusia kau sah, syarikat kau dekian mau palle ha matte matte betul di ini. Mereka tamai, amaru macam ni mereka tiada. In pairs, recruits will have to navigate their way to 18 checkpoints, but with no rest the night before, they are all marching on empty. Close to 20% will not make it. Jangan kisah dura permainan yang kian nuhunat, ikhine kahar motivate keragam. Samara kawat tawadi tamangi, hita khada agin itu kawat tawadi, anika out support kalla, idri ada ginian udah wakar. Recruit 52 has managed to survive this far despite a leg and a wrist injury. Kau kuli apa ada tienno tama, atat sama yang atunan pasien ni muda kau kuli dengan ini. Recruit 5 is feeling his injuries too. Mangoda plate lah dia. Barat tadi arahnya barai kolera marui. Ia nak ibarat kerana non macam. But bad news for recruit 2, the veteran special forces soldier wounded in the war. Kita barat tadi. In the Kapulat Luku Barat Tiru nama tak ikan. Win Win datu wedi, ani dawas dege macam ke kalin one day macam cila di bagi datu wedi. Amaru ag demna Kapulat. Mitik dulu datu kerja na apu sielu mac kriya kar kam bagi uparing kara hamai kapu asamat netu me lakunu tienno hamai kapu pas feladi ini lakunu tattyanu balanu ni diri. Recruit two can now only sit and wait. For the decision of the instructors. Mukadam ang hitaan ito kung kilometer ka na kawar ka na bago na mukadam ang yata abad ay katunisa. Ewan ko ta 
අපේ ගමනේ වේගේ ගොඩක් අඩු වුණා මොකද මේ බැක් එක එක දිගටම දාගෙන ගිහිල්ලා මම බර ප්‍රමාණයක් උත් තියෙනවා පටියට හිර වෙලා මේ අත පොඩක් අබාධලක් වෙලා තියෙනේ බඩියට යන්න අම සින්ද බඩියගේ වැලිරත්තල් 10ක් මම පැක් කර දාගත්තා බඩියට කහ දෙයක් වුණොත් කිසි විටකත් සතුරු භූමිය වුණත් කිසි විටකත් තමන්ගේ බඩියා ඔය තමන්ගේ ටීම් එක කවුරුවත් කිසි විටකත් දාලා එන්නේ නැහැ මොකද ඒක තමයි විශේෂ බලකය තියෙන විශේෂත්වේ බඩි පෑරයක් අතර තියෙන සහයෝගී දාලා It's 72 hours into the 100 km march and the first recruits are crossing the finish line. So far, 29 recruits haven't made it on time, including recruit 2 and recruit 52. But ultimately, it's up to the instructors to decide who stays and who goes. They are close to the end. but it's not quite over yet one hundred sixty four recruits are on their last day of selection they have one final test the confidence jump recruits have to climb an eighty foot ladder the equivalent of an eight-story building At the top, they need to do pull-ups and let go. It's called the confidence jump for good reason. Landing in the water the wrong way could lead to drowning. A safety diver is on standby. After three weeks of non-stop training, recruits have to summon their courage one last time. Shri Bala ke atma vishwas hai, mere liye mujhe sada mere ko mere jab pe daan ho. ගෙන්න ගොඩක් අමාරු වැඩක් කම්මෙච්චම ටීම් එකේ කට්ටි හැලෙන්න බලනවා ඒ කට්ටිව කොහොමද මාත් එක්කම ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් එකේ ඇදගෙන යන්නේ කියලා තමයි මම ඉගෙන ගත්තේ මම කෝස් එක කරපු කෙනා ආඩම්බර වෙනවා recruit 5 recruit 169 and recruit 8 are among the 122 recruits who have passed the selection course මම ලොකු අධිෂ්ඨානයෙන් මම පාඨමාලාව කරුවා ඒකෙන් මට මේ ජයග්‍රහණයේ මගේ පාඨමාලාව ඉදිරියට එන්න ලැබීම ගැන මම ගොඩක් සතුටු වෙනවා but 85 are left disappointed ඇත්තටම ලොකු දුකක් මොකද කාවුලේ ආබාධයත් එක්ක පාඨමාලාව කරගෙන යන පාරමාල තින් කරගෙන ගියා නමුත් අවසාන මොහොතේ කියන්නේ කිලෝමීටර් 56ක් ගමන් කරා 
ඉතිරි සුළු ප්‍රමාණය ගමන් කර ගැනීමට නොහැක තරමට කපුලේ අබාධය වැඩි වෙච්ච හින්දා පාඨමාලාවෙන් යවත් වෙන සිද්ධ වුණා උපස බෑමක් ඒ කියන්නේ මේ අදියරේ ඉන්නවත් වුණා කියන්නේ ඉදිරියට මේ පාඨමාලාව කොහොමත් හදාර වෙන්නේ නැහැ මේ පාඨමාලාව හදාරන්න අවස්ථාවක් ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ මට ඒක තමයි මේ ජීවිතේට ලොකු අත්දැකීමක් කරන්න පුළුවන් උපරිමයෙන් කරා ඒ ක්‍රියාකාරකම් Those who made it have more than five months of intense, advanced skills training ahead to become part of the elite LERP team. But the past three weeks have prepared them for the rest of their careers. They have made it to Sri Lanka's most elite special forces unit. <laughs> ඒකෙන් ගැලවිලා ආවත් දැන් අනාගතයේදී ඒ ගැලවිලා ආපු එකේ තහ අපි ඒ කැප කරපු දේවල් වල ලොකු ප්‍රතිපලයක් අපිට දාගෙන ලැබුණා අපිට සතුටුයි ඒ සම්බන්ධයෙන්